the last lecture was a little incomplete. Uh, so we were at the step. We have established that this number is relatively prime to p because uh, uh, you 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 know that h is a silo p subgroup in G. So p does not divide this number. Index of h in G is uh, prime to p. Similarly, you have established that an intersection h uh, is a silo p in capital N. So that's why it's uh, this index uh, is also prime to p. And uh, I have shown in my last lecture that uh, this number and p both are uh, relatively prime. Okay. So what was this? This was equal to this was equal to g by n and h n by n. Yes, this is the index and with p, so this is equal to, you can write like this, this is equal to p. That is, that is g index of h n by n in g by n with p both are relatively prime so what was the alternative definition this was the definition that if the index of this in g by n is prime to p then this is a silo p subgrouping g by n hence by definition hence by definition h n by n is a silo p in g by n this completes the proof okay